The unusual, the odd, the useful, the draw knife. Let's get into this. Okay guys, so like I mentioned in the intro, today we're going to be talking about the draw knife. Now the reason why I wanted to do this is I'm actually going to be talking about some different tools here in the next few videos that I like to use for bushcrafting that don't get a whole lot of publicity or really that aren't talked about very commonly. However, they're still very good for bushcrafting and why I still drag them into the woods and use them. Now, the draw knife is one of those unusual tools or odd tools that you don't see in many uh, bushcrafters' arsenals, but that I still love for bushcrafting. Now, I will say, this is one of those tools that it's not like the saw, the knife, or the axe. It's not critical to have, and I really generally only bring the draw knife out when I have specific crafting projects or when I'm going to be out for a longer duration and I feel like I might need it. So that's kind of when the draw knife comes into play for me, but it's still one of those tools that I like to use because it adds such an effective level especially like i said when you're crafting projects like workbenches or you want a really flat object or you want to take like a round log and give it one side of it a complete flat surface over several feet one of the fastest and easiest ways to do that for a bushcrafter is through the use of a draw knife because you can obtain a certain level of flatness through batoning but when i'm talking about you know making a flat surface over three to four feet like such as one of my favorite creations was the elevated kitchen when creating a flat surface like at that workbench on, on an elevated kitchen that's essentially impossible to achieve through merely batoning it because when you baton a piece of wood you usually start to get the twist of the grain that usually ends up messing you up and that's where the draw knife comes into play because the draw knife can take off a very large amount of material very rapidly but also it's not subject to the twist and warp that is in a lot of wood so it's still taking it off in a very flat way now you could also achieve this through using other means such as a block plane or a plane but for bushcrafting we want to try to be on the light side and not carry in something huge and heavy like a plane because planes can weigh several pounds whereas this thing itself this nine inch this is a nine inch draw knife weighs only about a pound so it allows me to have a lot of the effectiveness though a little bit more coarse and rough but allows me to have some of the same effectiveness of a plane, but with the weight savings that a draw knife offers. Not to mention, it's also a very comfortable tool to sit down and use for hours. Like, once again, as I said, when you're going to be, you know, bushcrafting and flattening down a surface for you know that's about three to four feet long is going to take you a few hours to do this so or it's going to take you at least 45 minutes to do that depending on how fast you are so you know you want something that's very comfortable to do this so that's why i really like the the uh, draw knife and i really do love carrying these things in they're really fun plus i also just love the history of draw knives i mean you can still buy brand new draw knives and there's nothing wrong with them but something like this one which is a vintage um, draw knife you guys can see very old looking very old school but still insanely sharp and very beautiful it's just a real pleasure to use as well as being very effective to use and once again i feel like the draw knife is one of those tools that you know occasionally when you do drag it out into the woods you end up finding just how useful it is and how many uses you can put the draw knife into uh, but at the same time you know it being or it's, it ends up being a very effective tool that you find a whole bunch of uses for, you know, whether you're just trying to strip the bark off of a piece of wood, or you're trying to, you know, flatten down a piece of wood, or you're trying to, you know, comfortably and safely carve on a piece of wood in a specific way that's a little bit more conducive to the draw knife because that's the other great thing about the draw knife it's one of the only knives that because of how it's designed you can actually cut towards yourself safely and effectively without having to worry about cutting yourself so 
Anyways, guys, that is the odd bushcrafting tool for today. This, hopefully you've enjoyed it. And like I said, I just want to show a few other uh, tools that I use for bushcrafting that aren't really mentioned or talked about a lot because I feel like as a bushcrafter, we really focus just on, you know, axes, knives, and saws. Those are like the three pinnacle tools. And while it's definitely true, the majority of your work in bushcrafting can be done with those tools. Sometimes bringing in other tools such as the draw knife can allow you to have a little bit more effectiveness in certain situations, but also a little bit more safety and a little bit more um, ease of use than just having a regular old knife or a regular old saw or a regular old ax doing those same projects. So anyways, guys, that's all I have to share on the draw knife. Hopefully you've enjoyed this quick look and hopefully the biggest thing is that I just want to get the word out that these are really awesome bushcrafting knife or bushcrafting tools to bring out and hopefully I inspired you guys to take a look at one and maybe even get one for yourself. So anyways, guys, that's all that I have to share in this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. As always, I'm out.